and I'm no pro at this, but I'm just learning. But did you know that um, most glue, well, just about all glue, contains gelatin? Now, gelatin comes from friends like poor Mr. Piggy here. So we don't want to use glue with gelatin. We want to use a vegan alternative. And how I put this picture from a PETA magazine, I put it on this piece of cardboard, like a sign, with our wheat paste that we use for paper mache. So that's two cups of flour. And, oh, it's okay, baby. Two and a half cups of water and one tablespoon of salt whisked together. And you can, <laughs> oh, no. You can just take your finger and just rub on some of that natural glue or some of that homemade glue. And you can make things like this. You can put up signs. Yeah. Just be careful if you're putting up signs, but <laughs> you can make signs for protests like this. And see, I know I'm not a professional at it, I'm just learning, but there's all kinds of alternatives. We do not have to use glue that's made from our animal friends, do we? No, we don't. Hey, guys, y'all need a bath. Okay, <laughs> we got a little messy with the wheat paste. All right, see, we got a little messy with the wheat paste. Because <laughs> we made paper mache today. This is our first day to making paper mache. It was fine. I, I oh, time. Zen's a little bit upset because I'm not, I'm, I'm, no, he he's happy because we um, Zen unfortunately thought that we could make a really cool advanced paper mache dragon, but we're not there yet. We are making signs and we're making shapes. That's right. <laughs> so choose a vegan alternative. Oh, it's okay, baby. I know that the vegan alternatives can be expensive, so if you can make yourself a little bit of wheat paste. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. She wants to make a big dragon. <laughs> Love and peace, beautiful people.